What's up guys, Luke here with Nerve Designs bringing you the first video on YouTube, which is a tutorial on how to put uh, like a camouflage on a gun. But throughout this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you a crap load of things so you could uh, yeah, you could apply the things that you learn in this video to a whole bunch that have nothing to do with video games or camos or anything. And yeah. Let's just get right on into it. So first off, you're going to have a gun. And uh, this is the website I got the gun off of. And it's a white background. And when I copied it in here, I was like, what the f... It's got a black background. I didn't know what was going on. And so I decided that I'm going to use this magic uh, magic selection tool, magic wand. And I click, and it doesn't even select the whole gun. So I'm sitting here, and I'm not a Photoshop guru or anything. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. So I tried a bunch of crap and nothing really worked. I tried like selecting the inside, which didn't work at all. And yeah, I got really confused. So I decided what if I made the gun lighter than the black so it wouldn't pick up as the same thing. So I duplicated my layer to, um, yeah. So in case if I mess up, I still have the original. And then I went up to image adjustments curves. I could have also clicked control M, but you guys wouldn't see me do that. And it might have confused you guys how I got there. Next step, I drag this all the way to the left. Like I was just dragging it around like this, but it still takes a while. And then if you do it like this, the magic wand will just select the whole thing. And then, I don't know, some people are like, well, then how's, how do you get the gun? That's why you also duplicate the layer. And then when you select the first one, you have the gun selected. And you know, you feel like a genius when this happens to you. You can click control C, Go to another document, and it's already there. Yeah. Alrighty. Did not mean for that to already be there. Let's just delete that. And you click Control V, and bam. Like, you feel like a genius when this happens. So, next off, next step is the camouflage. Now, I could easily just take this, which is already, it's like somebody already clicked Control A to get that all highlighted. Click Control C, you paste it over top, and then to create a clipping mask, you, um, Hold down Alt and click in between the layers. Or you can right click on the layer and go create clipping mask. And a clipping mask, real quick, is uh, you just make it so it only appears on the layer below it. And it just, that's the only thing that shows. Oh, all right. So, where are we now? I could do the fall camo. I could do red tiger. But I want to show you guys something. By double clicking on the layer, I bring up blending options, which I can go color overlay. And if I go to hue, It'll give me like a reddish kind of fall tiger thing, but I don't really want that. I want to go with a, um, I don't know, I could go with a purple. That might look pretty cool. I think I'll just go with a green, though, because cause I'm a boss, I guess. Yeah, I'll just go with the green. And up here, this little box, it allows you to um, go over top. Or no, if, God, what am I talking about? I'm getting so sidetracked. It allows you to blend it. Or it doesn't allow you, but it's a way of blending. So if I click on Dissolve, nothing really happens. But I'll just click down. I'll go through them all. I already know which one I want because I've done this like a crap load today. That was the one, Color Dodge. But I'll just go through all of them, show you guys everything, show you all the different ones. And, yeah, a lot of the time if you're doing like backgrounds and um, like YouTube backgrounds, uh, templates, you're going to want to either use Color or um, Hue or something like that. But, uh, yeah, not for this. It does not work. So I'm going to go to Color Dodge again, and I'm going to mess around with the color of the green so it's a little bit more um, bright because, I don't know, I, I like the when it's like a super bright camo. I'll go into some curves, and there you see some other stuff that you can do with curves. If I lift this up, it makes it brighter. If I lift this down, it makes it darker. So if I go up a little bit and down a little bit, it makes the darks darker and the lights lighter. It looks pretty cool, I think. You know, I could always just go back into my brightness contrast and bring the contrast down. Or make it higher, right? I'll probably just make it higher. No. No, I'll make it lower. And I'll make it minus 50 again. Oh, sorry. Um, there. Whew. Next step. I'm going to erase the top part so it's easier to see the gun. 
And it doesn't look completely horrible if I can get it proper. And I'll make the tip over there black, and I'll make that black. And I'm thinking I might just make a black line right like that. And then I'm going to make the magazine black as well because you don't really have a bunch of camoed magazines, especially green ones. All right, so that looks all right, I'm guessing. It doesn't look great, but I'm not spending my entire life making this thing better. Now, I'm a, like a pretty picky when it comes to my graphics sometimes, and I noticed that there was a black line, so I select the um, blur tool over here. Yep, blur tool. And then I just go across like the edge like this. Now, of course, if you were doing this yourself, you'd you'd want it to um, be a little bit better than what I'm doing here. But this is solely for demonstrational purposes. I don't know when else I would make a green camo on an M16 video game gun. But, uh, yeah. So I'll just finish this up. And go like that. Make some blurs and bam. So you can't even really notice the blur. And uh, I think it looks pretty amazing. So I'm going to, well, I wonder what happens if I click change the brightness of like the original gun. Oh, it just makes it brighter or darker. Okay, what about the contrast? Brighter or darker again. I'll just leave it like that. Doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah. Next thing that you can do if you want, you can, uh, this looks pretty cool sometimes. You go to pattern overlay. That looks really cool, doesn't it? No. Um, you go like that, and then you change the opacity down, like, a lot. And it gives it, like, a cool little, like, there's one of those cloth things that's on the gun that, that like, you see on, like, the news when people are walking around. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like that because I think that's pretty sweet looking. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I hope you guys learned stuff from this first video. Um, that one looks a lot better. I spent a lot of time on that one, though. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I'm kind of at a loss for words. If you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. If you guys don't like this, give it a thumbs down, right? Uh, not really going to hurt my feelings that much. If you guys have any questions or constructive feedback or any of that great stuff, um, just leave in the comment section below. I try and get back to everyone. And, yeah, I guess uh, until next time, peace.